Good morning, it's Sean from The Driver's Perspective. Today is a open practice event for the BMW CCA and I wanted to kind of bring you guys along to show you what goes on with this club, uh, how we do instruction here, and hopefully make a few people faster. And in the parking lot, I did find Mr. Dan Howard from 9 for 9 Racing. Hello, YouTube. He brought Beaker along again, so maybe we can have a rematch from February in the dry, except that I think they might be at a little bit of a disadvantage here. But that's okay. Should be a lot of fun. This is your first event driving autocross in a while, huh? Since February. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. Let's see if I still got it. Sean's been practicing every weekend. This is autocross number two in a row. I've done a lot this year. This is almost like 20 events for me. This is uh, number two. <laughs> we'll see. Should be some fun. Catch you guys out there. So this is a combined event with a car control clinic that eventually transitions to an autocross. So uh, I'm instructing the open practice side. I have been tasked with going and scouting out the course to make sure everything looks okay. So we're gonna go do that. So behind me is Beaker. During the last autocross that Dan came down, I really didn't get a chance to go over the car, so I thought it'd be fun to talk about it and show you guys a nationally prepped STR car. And this year, it will be going to nationals. It will be driven by Ken Motonishi, the esteemed professional driver for 9 for 9 Racing. And Dan, are you driving this year? Uh, maybe. Maybe? We don't have a co-driver picked out yet. Okay. I went last year, though. So this is in full STR trim, all the tricks, right? Well, sort of. It's got sort a of. battery, header back, and a tune. I mean, okay. that's really about it. And are you guys on... Suspension mods. Are you on Zeta singles or triples? Triples. Triples. I thought you only needed singles. I mean, singles do the majority of it. Okay. Triples give you a little extra tuning opportunity. Uh, who makes these wheels? Uh, wheels are 949 Racing, 6UL wheels. You can buy them direct from 949racing.com or from several dealers around the country. Um, you yourself, if your viewers want to buy some wheels from you, they can. I'm just giving them crap. I know who <laughs> makes these wheels. I've had a couple sets. Some of my favorites. And you guys wrap this, right? It is wrapped, yeah. It's okay. a ceramic 2016 uh, GT, but wrapped orange. And at one point, you guys had this prepped for HPDE use, right, with a roll bar? Yeah, we used it okay. for some track coaching with the, the Super Miata Racing Series. And now it's uh, just repping a bunch of Super Miata parts. I like it. Leather seats. Maximum comfort, right? GT Grand Touring. <laughs> this is great, man. Super fun. What do you think is the best quality about this car? If you had to pick one thing that is your favorite. Uh, it's really its behavior at the limit. Uh, it's not fun to drive on the street as a normal car anymore. Mm -hmm. um, once they get to this level, they're kind of better off on trailers going racing. But yeah, it's really, really fun. Every input is immediate, steering, throttle. It's fantastic. So you break into yeah. that first cone, yeah. Yeah. and now you end up on the outside. Yeah. How's it going? Excellent. I'm gonna hop in with you. Yeah. Cool. It's gonna observe a little bit. We'll see what we need to do. Okay. Hands nine and three. Go. Rise up. A little visually challenging here. Okay. Yeah, and then enter on the left. Yeah. Okay, so the biggest thing is uh, you want to keep your hands at nine and three. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is it lets you keep 
track of where the car is going to be, when the car is going to be pointed straight, essentially. Okay. So if you shuffle around, what will end up happening, you'll lose track. Okay. And then you'll just, it'll just kind of set you, set you back, and it's another thing to think about. Okay. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you're figuring the course out, so we'll let you go sure. again. Good read. Go a little wider here before you enter. There you go. Gives you the space you need. Okay, this is an old trick. Nothing below here exists, as far as I'm concerned. Please, so look up, keep looking ahead above that line. Plant, plot your course. Think about where you want to put the car. I didn't get a chance to check in much, but that's the life of an instructor. It's a lot of running around, a lot of putting out fires, hopping in cars with students that uh, maybe need a little bit more help. And that's part of the fun. I've been instructing now for gosh, since about 2011, so quite a while. And the thing is, as an instructor, you often learn quite a bit more about your driving because you see a lot of people making mistakes along the way and you help them fix that and in turn, you kind of learn what to miss. Um, but that's the advantage of coming down to a club like this compared to the SCCA. You have people like myself and um, the rest of the instructor corps to actually help you learn how to do this. So um, there's a lot less figuring out you have to do and if you're smart, you'll lean on the instructors and get them in the car. So um, if you don't have an event like this around you, I would say it's worth the drive. Find a local club uh, that does this. And if you're in San Diego, come down and check it out. I can hop in the car with you. And same with uh, the rest of the instructors. There's a really good group of people down here, including some legitimate professional drivers um, who I often have drive my car so I can learn something. For me, that's why I keep coming back to this sport is because the learning never stops. I've never once felt like I've got it, so that's huge. We're getting started here with more practice now. You can see there's a wide variety of cars. You don't need a BMW to come down to this club. Um, there's Lotuses, there's old Porsches, there's Fiats, there's RX-7s, or I'm sorry, RX-8s, there's Mustangs, there's Miatas, there's a lot of Miatas, and uh, it's a blast. I was in the low 70 degrees in the first session. Okay. Um, and kind of feeling the car slide and you know just want your want your uh okay your help so i'll Getting probably faster. observe for a lap and then i'll probably take a second lap with you and then we'll work on some stuff okay perfect great. sound good out to me and you just go straight back in line um, you're not being patient with a car like when you get to a tight section I feel you. you're like you're really trying to get ahead of the car and you're like all right well, I know I can tell you, you're like I know where I wanted to go but the car's not doing it okay. like right at the top yeah, the top really section, loose. yeah so the thing with autocross is you just you kind of have to have the patience with a car and get it get the car managed so like get that get the car to settle down because then you'll be able to navigate that tight section what like you want to do 
Because I can it. see what you're trying to do. It's just a matter of letting the car settle before we get there. Got it. And then I would also say shift less. Like, if there's a spot where you can bang off the limiter for a second, it's just better. So preserve the momentum. Looks like we're doing our job. Students are getting faster today. Just rode along with a few more people and they're continuing to improve. Folks are getting a lot of laps today. Uh, it's really unique to this format and uh, I'm sure a lot of people will be tired by the end of today. And it's going really smooth. Been having a lot of fun. I really enjoy watching the light bulbs go off for students and when they grasp a concept we're working on, it's, it's really cool, it's rewarding. That's why I keep coming back to the instructing side of things as well, so. A little warm today though, just like last weekend. And it will be warm again next weekend at the other SCCA Autocross. Constructing is done. It's four o'clock. We've been going at this since like eight or nine. I got here seven. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty beat. But we still have an hour to go play, which is going to be fun. Dan and I are going to drive cars, our cars, swap cars, trade cars. It'll be fun. Give each other rides. Yep. This is the cushiest car yet. Thank you. No. Get the AC going until we get oh, on track. Man. What did you drive today? I drove a Jetta. Okay. That's still fun. Yeah. What did you think of the whole experience? I'm gonna do this again. This Good. Is Another victim is hooked, you know? <laughs> I'm a little a little addicted. Yeah. To doing this.
what you think? Man. <laughs> Is it a little different than the BMWs? It's very smooth. Good. The others were very abrupt. Yeah. First time here, it's been it's been great. Well, welcome to the addiction. Yeah. It doesn't. It's all downhill from here. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It's got some fun. What have you ridden in today? Um. Oh, I rode in a uh, E36. Okay. BMW. And then uh, I was in the uh, NC Miata when okay. it broke. When it broke. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, poor guy. And uh, that's about it so far. You having fun today? Yeah. Awesome. Let's go for a ride. It's way more fun sitting in the in the passenger side. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> Until I know what I'm doing, I guess. What'd you drive today? Uh, an M3. Awesome. I'm, it's way too much car for me. I was just in a Miata. That that was so much fun. great thanks all right that's it the autocross and car control clinic is over it was super fun getting a bunch of new people involved in the sport and showing them the joy of driving uh, had a little bit of fun driving other cars and I'm ready for next weekend with the SCCA so hope you enjoyed this till the next time I'm Sean with the driver's perspective